What's going on everybody? It's Seth Van Dale here with Jump Marketing and Home Builder Marketers. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up temporary domains and staging links. So let's first talk about the difference between a staging link and a temporary domain. If you are a web developer and you are developing a new website for a client that already has a domain, you are going to want to use a temporary domain. And in Hostinger, how you're gonna set this up is you're gonna make your way to websites and you are going to go down to whatever hosting your, like a uh, web hosting provider you're on, sorry. You, we use business web hosting. We're just getting uh, just getting started with it. Uh, but if you jump down to, we have jump marketing hosting, let's do it here. You'll hit add website. It's the same on both, by the way. Uh, you'll hit add website, WordPress, and let's just skip through all of this, create a blank site. Now, this is where you're gonna to get to use temporary domain. If you want, and they, your client doesn't have a current domain or a current website, and you wanna use their domain, you can set it up there. Just know that as you're building it, people will be able to visit it. If you don't have an under construction website plugin, something very simple to set up as well. Simply go to the website or the WordPress plugin store, uh, search under construction, download that plugin, install it, activate it. And then you'll have, when you visit that domain, an under construction page saying, hey, this website's under construction, it'll be live soon. You can do that, or you can uh, use a temporary domain. And when you use a temporary domain, it's gonna spit out a random bunch of words and then have a .com at the end and give it a second to install WordPress. But what this will do is create a random, uh, random bunch of words for you. Uh, and this will be a temporary domain that you can then send preview of the website and the in progress website to your client or to your team or whoever needs to look at it. And then if you do it this way, it also won't rank on Google. And I'll tell you exactly what we did wrong for quite a long time is what we would do is we bought a staging link where we had uh, jump.staging.com or it was like jumpstaging.website or I think that we had a few of them going. And what we would do is we'd create a staging link within that domain. And what happened was the search engines would start to rank the staging link. And that is a big issue because after you push it live on the main domain, you don't want the staging link to be above the actual website. That's just, that's not the best way to do it. And so that is why temporary domains are way better to use because then after you create the temporary domain, you can just attach the, the domain, like the main domain to it and it'll go live. And how you do that after this is all created, uh, looks like we're good to go. See dark, dark sea green dash chicken dash bunch of numbers hostinger.com, right? So now you can create the website here and if we jump back into Hostinger, if you're like, uh, okay, you know, you build the whole website out, everything looks great. We jump into here and wait for this to load, give it a second. Then you'll see, okay, here's the temporary domain. We're gonna go dashboard. And again, you're gonna see connect here where this allows us to go, where's domains? Go, uh, where is it on here? Oh, right here. Every website needs a domain. Get one now and launch your business. You're going to simply hit connect. You're going to then type the domain. So maybe it's, you know, one, two, three construction.com. And I'm guessing this is already a registered domain. And what you can do, yeah, see, you can either buy one in this menu or if it's registered at another provider, you just click on it and hit next. What's going to happen then is it's going to, uh, you go and you point the A records at this. And if you don't know how to do that, you can refer to another video that I've done, um, basically teaching you how to do that. But yeah, you just point the A records at your hostinger. Uh, I believe it's, I don't know the IP address. It might be different for everybody, but you point it at hostinger. And when it switches over, now your website's live. It's hosted on hostinger. Your domain's pointed at it, or you simply just change the, uh, the name servers on the domain and then it will work. Yeah, so that is how you can do that very easily. Um, it's the best way to do it. Now, if you wanna set up a staging link, 
So say you're making a bunch of edits on a current website, but you don't want it to be live yet. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go under domains, uh, assuming that your domain is uh, within hosting or on this. Let's use FTR Builder Winnipeg.ca. So we're going to go manage. And I just did that completely wrong. You're not going to want to do that. You're actually going to want to go to websites and the website's got to be hosted here and you can do it if your domain's not in here. That's my apologies. Uh, confusing myself here. Let's do it for easy modern homes. You're going to go dashboard and you're going to go to WordPress and staging. And so under easymodernhomes.com, we can create a staging link called, um, you know, version, you know, one right and say i hit create on that what's going to happen is it's going to create a staging link why don't we actually just do this right now i'm going to do let's do let's do one for vc construction create staging uh new page or version 2.0 i can't do I'll just do version two. Okay, can't do the period. I'm gonna create it. It's gonna take about five, 10 minutes to create or up to 15 it says. I've never really seen it take actually that long. Uh, it'll take a few minutes though. I'll come back when it's done. Okay, it's been about uh, 15 minutes and now we are good to go. So this says, uh, this is now the staging link created under vcconstruction.com. If you want to edit just the staging link, you're gonna go manage staging and pop into WordPress. This will be an exact duplicate of the website that you create the staging link on. So for instance, if I click in here, oh, uh, give me one sec. If I click in here, manage WordPress, it's gonna pop open the website. It's not gonna pop open the website. I'm not sure what's going on. Give me one sec. Okay, so it just wasn't fully done propagating yet, but I uh, gave it a few more minutes and clicked in and now it's working. And so if we go to manage staging, any edits that you make on the staging link won't reflect on the main domain. So this is how you can make quick edits. You see on version 2vcconstructioninc.com So what you'll do, log in, make your edits. And then once your edits are made on the staging link and you wanna push this to the live site, you go back to this menu, click this and hit publish, and that'll push it to the main site. And that is how you can make edits uh, on a staging link, play with different things and not break the main site that you're working with. And yeah, so if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us here at Jump Marketing and Home Builder Marketers. Uh, you can email us at jump marketing, jump with two M's uh, at gmail.com, or feel free to reach out to us on Instagram. We're very active on there and we'll get your message and we're happy to help out in any way. Thanks for watching.